The capital toilets, listening, is your sister's youngest daughter. Gnarled Harriet's anointed. You have not been without honor. Even the young gorilla has chosen. Yell as she fires into the thicket. I love Wilo is coming. <coughs> I have written your name on my cheekbones, dreamed your eyes, flesh my epiphany. Most ancient goddesses, hear me, enter. I have not forgotten your worship, nor my sisters, nor the sons of my daughters, my children. Watch for your print in their labor, and they say, I the weasel is coming. I am a black woman turning, mouthing your name as a password through seduction, self-slaughter, and I believe in the Holy Ghost, Mother, in our flame, beyond our vision, blown light through the fingers of women, enduring, warring, sometimes outside your name. We do not choose all our rituals. Tandi Modisi, winged girl of Soweto, brought fire back home in the suit of a mortar, passes the word from her prison cell, whispering, I the wheelo is coming. I the wheelo is coming. Rainbow serpent who must not go unspoken, I have offered up the safety of separation sung the spirals of power and what fills the spaces before power unfolds or flounders in desirable non-essentials. I am a black woman stripped down and praying my whole life has been an altar worth it's ending, and I say, I the Huido is coming. We are learning by heart what has never been taught. You are my given. Oya sevo visa maku afrikati. And now we mourn our sisters, lost to the false hush of silence, to hardness and hatchets and childbirth. And now we are shouting, Rosa Parks and Fanny Lou Hamer, Asata Shakur, Ya Asantiwa, my mother and Winnie Mandela are singing in my throat the Holy Ghost's linguists, one iron silence broken. I the Huilo is calling, calling. Your daughters are named and conceiving. Mother, loosen my tongue or adorn me with a lighter burden. I the wheelo is coming. I the wheelo is coming. I the wheelo is coming.
poetry is a very genuine sharing. Can you hear me without this? No. Poetry is a sharing. It is not a performance. It is something that happens in this space. That power that you feel inside of you belongs to you, not to me. You will take it out of here. It is yours. It is yours to use or it is yours to waste. I do not control it. You do. When I return, if I return, I would ask you, what did you do after you walked out of this hall this night? How do you identify who you are, whoever you are, and how do you learn to put that self behind in the service of what you say you believe? I wish to tell you of two two institutions only that I find myself working and expressing parts of myself through because we need also to support those institutions within our communities that bring us, help give us what we want. I speak therefore of Kitchen Table Women of Color Press. How many of you are familiar with this press? Good. All of you need to be. The catalogs will be in the Women's Center. The books are available at the, the Feminist Bookstore of Iowa. <laughs> right. Support the press. Support the women who write the books that the press publishes. And most importantly, involve yourselves actively with the emotions and the experiences reading our work. Can give. Do not depend upon the institutions of the mainstream to provide you with the sustenance to live your life. When I spoke of the women of South Africa, I speak from a particular experiential, emotional, and very loaded place because I have worked, I have broken bread with, I have shared with a group of women from South Africa that I was privileged to meet. I am one of the founding mothers of CISA, an organization that was founded over five years ago by Dr. Gloria Joseph. The function of CISA, and I have some flyers from CISA, which those of you who are interested in sending money to CISA, starting a CISA chapter here in Ames should take and should spread. CISA, which in SA means mercy, stands for the Sisters in Support of Sisters in South Africa. And the function of this organization is twofold. One, to educate the American public about what is continuing in South Africa to overcome the misconceptions and the kinds of lobbying that go on, most of all the silence, and also to share resources, to share the resources of women of North America with women in South Africa. <coughs> to that end, we work with two groups, the Zamani Soweto Sisters and the Maggie Mugaba Trust Fund. The money that is collected, the money that is sent to us, goes directly through England, through Ellen Kuzwayo, who is the author of Call Me Woman, a book which I hope is available in your bookstore and which you will all read. It is a biography of South African woman. And some of the materials that are quoted in here are from letters that the women have sent. I urge you to consider this. I urge you also to keep yourself abreast of what is happening in this globe, to seek the news that does not come on six o'clock television, to read, for example, the ANC weekly news briefings, which should be in your library, and if it is not, 
get it. To find out what are the publications for Pacific Free and for the Nuclear Free and Independent Pacific. To find out what is being done, for example, in Vanuatu and and what is called New Caledonia, which in fact is a republic, to find out what is happening in your name. You won't see it on the six o'clock news. You won't read it probably in the New York Times except on the bottom of page 48 right, in 12 point type. But the rest of the world is looking to us and expects us to know what is being done in our name. Mm. Well, I look forward to the share back. The flyers are here. There are some catalogs. I only have two catalogs at the kitchen table, but those should be placed in strategic places. Go about your business. Good luck to you all. Good luck to you all. Yeah. That's the same as, uh, putting it on file. Putting it on file. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah